Oh, beautiful for spacious skies and barrels full of rye. baseball. Unfortunately, as I said in one of my other videos, there is no baseball. So what I'm going to be doing tonight instead of baseball is rye. Now rye is something that I have really wanted to like, but in my very limited experience with rye, I really have not liked it. And this is a little bit puzzling to me because, well, I like high rye bourbons. So if, I, if you like high rye bourbon, why would you not like rye, which is even more rye? Well, perhaps it's that extra 20 or more percent of rye in the mash bill. I don't know. What I do know is that uh, I went on to Facebook and I'm a member of the group, the Whiskey Tribe, and I asked some of the members what might be a good rye to try for someone who likes high rye bourbon but has never really liked rye. And one of the ones that came up most often was the Woodford Reserve. They said that the mash bill, while undisclosed, is somewhere close to 51% rye. So it's less rye than most other ryes. I thought that might be a good idea. So I went out and picked up a bottle. And that's what we're going to be trying tonight. We'll find out. Can I possibly like rye? Smells sweet, fruity, slight caramel, some honey. It's not unlike a bourbon on the nose. A little sweeter. Uh, I'm getting a little more of a chemical kind of smell, however, something like turpentine. It's not particularly pleasant. Yeah, like maybe a nail polish remover or something. Uh, and yet, it's got that sweetness to it that is almost counteracting that smell. Certainly some pear, maybe a little bit of apple. Perhaps even something a little bit darker, maybe like a cherry. Okay, let me give it a taste. Spicy. The apple really seems to come through. A little bit of caramel on the finish. I certainly don't get that chemical, uh, that sort of nail polish that I got in the aroma. I'm not getting that uh, on the palate. But I am getting a little more burn than I normally get with uh, most of the bourbons that I drink. A little more spiciness, that pepperiness, especially on the finish. There's a little bit of a uh, smoothness to it, uh, sort of a creaminess uh, as it seems to coat my mouth. I'll at least say this for it. I don't dislike it. I think it might be something that I can get used to uh, if I uh, drink enough of it and certainly if I can finish this bottle I believe that that will mean that I 
approve. So perhaps this was a good idea. It's definitely not one of those that I disliked from before. I don't know what I've drank in the past. I know that I've had rye at least twice. The first time about 10 years ago and the second time three, maybe four years ago. Yeah, I think I can get used to it. So that's it. Woodford Reserve, probably a pretty good idea for drinking rye for somebody who really does not care much for rye. This is an addendum to last night's tasting of Woodford Reserve Rye. My initial tasting of the rye, I tasted something that I described as nail polish or perhaps turpentine. And I realized later on what I was really tasting. It was not nail polish or turpentine. I was misinterpreting the flavor of licorice. I've always thought licorice had a little bit of a chemical type flavor to it, and I guess that's what was confusing. But last night, after I finished, well, a third glass, I'm really trying to like this stuff. Uh, I took a, I, I took a sip of water and suddenly it hit me right over the head, licorice. And I knew that's what I was tasting. I've never been a fan of licorice. And I think that's what's keeping me from actually liking this rye. Uh, but I did want to clarify that because it could be a little bit misleading uh, from my very first sip of the, uh, of the Woodford Reserve. I think if I'm going to learn to like rye, I'm gonna have to find one that does not taste like licorice. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.